So this is week eight, um, and I know we already have a video from our teachers, but at some point that's gonna go to where we can't see it anymore probably. So we figured we would make one, and we have a guest star today. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, so we'll start with this one. This is a vice grip, and um, we don't really know what a lot of these do, so we're just gonna be showing you what they are. Obviously, you grab stuff. And then we have a pliers. Pliers, I just forgot. <laughs> a pliers. These are pliers. Um, obviously, these these two are just like the regular ones that you can get in a toolbox. But they're for surgery. This is a straight bone cutter. And then we also have. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! No, you're That's a straight wrong. curette. A bone curette. This is a straight bone curette, and this is curved. Lindsay knows more than I do about this. For once. <laughs> For that one's right there. Oh. <laughs> You're doing good. Okay. All right. So this is a bone hook. Mm -hmm. Hook the bone with it, obviously. Nerve hook. Oh my gosh. This is... Nerve hook. See how tiny that is? All right. And then we have a... My favorite. Chubby needle holder. Very chubby right here. And it's not actually, I think she said it's not actually used for holding sutures. But it's just called that. I remember her saying that. Okay. But that could be wrong too. <laughs> so, you know, just, just <laughs> take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These are Bennett retractors. This is the yes. large, see the large, and this is the small. So the large is obviously bigger here, and then it also has this extra little piece at the bottom. And I know that there are some other tools or instruments that have that bottom, kind of similar to this, but um, I kind of feel like this looks like a little Smurf hat, and if it was a Smurf and his name is Bennett, um, Lindsay thinks that it, like if this was like a bee, was that backwards? Too? No, that was right. Because okay. it just kind of like looks like a bee to me. Yeah, if you just had an imaginary mm, right there. Mm, I just mm. <laughs> okay, you just hold that side. Okay, this is a Fraser suction. And what did you say about this? How it's like not an oval, but it's oh, like that's a, rectangle. a rectangle right there. This one's a rectangle, and it has that hole there, and it's just a Fraser suction. And then. Home in, home in something. What is it? Right oh, a home in baby retractor. And this one, we're trying to remember it because, like, that looks like a little spoon, and you can put a little pea on it, and it's really cute, and it would, like, be the home to a little pea. And the pea is a hoe. Oh, yeah. The pea's <laughs> like a little hoe, and it needs a home. It's a hoe, man. So we thought that was cute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is putty rasp. And it's like shaves down like pointy fragments of bone, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. So like if you cut bone like amputation or something and it's pointy, you just shave it down. It's like yeah. a little cheese grater. I think like that look kind of looks like a little butter knife, that end right there. And for some reason, like I'm just like, if you like scoop up putty with a little putty rasp. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I mean, it would not be good for putty because it's all the grooves. <laughs> okay. This is a freer elevator. And I don't know, did you have a way to remember it? It's definitely one of the elevators because you just can put it under and elevate it like that. So that's kind of obvious. But are the ends to remember the same? freer. Yeah, both ends are Similar. both curved and ov and an oval. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're like pretty one of them's kind of flat. One of them's kind of flat, but they're pretty mm -hmm. much the same. So freer. Okay. Just remember it. Yeah, no, I didn't have a thing for that. And then cob elevator. We said that this kind of looked like a little, piece, a of little piece of corn on the cob and this is like the whole like cob yeah so yeah cob elevator is the flat the circular circular one and then this is the other one and this is a key periosteum elevator and we said this one's like rectangular and pointy so it's more structured and keys are like pointy and rigid and structured just like this end is so key periosteum elevator and remember, like, the periosteum is what is on the outside of the bone. 
Oh yeah. And then lobster claws. I mean, it looks like lobster claws. Yeah, literally. And then hold, hold it next to this one. This one's weighs at point reduction. So point reduction. Oh, it is pointed. You're pointed right. Pointed reduction. Pointed reduction. And we said since they're kind of similar, it's a smaller version of like the lobster claws. So it's like a lobster, but it's reducted to a smaller. Yeah, it's like a smaller reduction of the lobster claws, and it's pointy. So pointed reduction. So these are alms, spelled A L M. Um, we don't need to know like the different sizes or anything. Do we just say it? This is an alm. It's a retractor. Retractor. Oops. Okay, and then here we have a I can't ever remember. <laughs> Bipolar bayonet forcep. Bipolar bayonet forcep. Like mm -hmm. I know what it is, but I don't like getting it to come out of my mouth. And remember, blue is always bipolar. Like, yes. it, no matter what instrument it is, if it's blue, it's bipolar. That's just what blue always means. Yeah. And this, yeah. This is one of the, um... It's like a bovie. Like yeah, a, it's like a bovie. I couldn't think of the right word. Okay. So, you single, this one's single Loman, and it's actually a forcep. Like, these two are forceps in our paper, it's, they're under forcep, and it's single lomen, which just has mm -hmm. the one, and then double lomen, which has the two of them, obviously. Single, <laughs> double. Also, um, Miss Para also told us that they can be called turkey claws, but then Miss Peck yelled at me during oh. musical instruments. Oh, that's <laughs> so just don't call it turkey claws. Okay, these are, Meriting. Meriting. I don't know how to pronounce it. Meriting retractors. Um, we don't have different sizes, do we? It doesn't say. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, large and extra large. This is a large? This is an extra large? Yep. Yeah. Oh, so. my gosh. This doesn't look that big. Mm -mm. All right. But they have these little teeth at the bottom. Um, and they also have this little hat. Thing on the end of it that I said earlier, but don't get that confused with our little Bennett retractors. Um, when I think, when I hear marrying, like it makes me think like someone who can't say the word marrying and they're like, well, they're marrying us tomorrow. So, it's a little <laughs> rude, I guess, for me to say, but I don't know, marrying retractors. And this is a kerosene. I've seen one of these used. This got, um, part of the, the disc out when they were doing a cervical spine procedure. And that's very sharp up here. Just, you don't want to get your finger in there. And it does one more Wait, thing, but I can't remember. It's sharp? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. These are mallets. This is the large by the size of the handle, and this is the small. But on the test, you just need to know this is a mallet. That's fine. Yeah, she said just. That's a quote test. from Miss Peck. Yeah. Do we do this? Oh, we yeah. didn't do these either. Okay. So these are all bone cutters. Actually, I know these are bone cutters. Those don't really look like they cut bone. Maybe they're like. Should you have gotten these? Out? Let's not. Do that. We'll just do these two. So these are bone <laughs> cutters, just in case. Bone cutters, and they're like flat on one end and then curved on the other, and they're pretty sharp, actually. And this one's just smaller than that one, but they're Hold it out like bone that. cutters. Oh, good idea. <laughs> bone okay, cutters. Video. <laughs> bone cutters. Okay, cool, those are pretty easy. Okay, so I don't know if you're supposed to say ronger or ronger, but whatever helps you remember, um, the mouth of it is kind of like, got an edge right there that meets in the middle but it's like it's hollow it's literally like if there were teeth here like and the tongue goes there like it's literally like a mouth it's hollow on the inside oh and when you close it there's like an open circle there. which is just wrong if you're <laughs> hey that was good if you're trying to chew your food and it comes out the side of your mouth <laughs> okay that's um, a good one and we don't know what it does either no is there anything <laughs> 
yeah, that's everything. Okay. <laughs>